Hello, my name is Sharon, and in the next few minutes, I'll give you a brief overview of the PicKit 3 programmer application. This standalone GUI provides programming capabilities to the PicKit 3 without the use of MPLAB IDE. So, let's get started. If you've ever used PicKit 2's programmer application, you'll notice that the GUI looks familiar. As with the PicKit 2 programmer application, you can edit memory within the window. To use the programmer application with the PicKit 3, simply select your device. Once the target device is selected, the application will automatically load the appropriate firmware into the PicKit 3 upon the first operation. Once the proper firmware has been automatically downloaded, the device ID will be verified every time a device operation is performed. If you have the wrong device selected, the application will notify you and it will not continue with the operation. The PicKit 3 programmer application will program all microchip 8, 16, and 32-bit devices. Supported programming operations include write, verify, read, erase, and blank check. When performing a programmer operation, the progress bar will be displayed. Program and data memory regions may be selected or deselected for programming operations. Like the PicKit 2, the PicKit 3 can optionally verify program memory after a write operation. And similarly, it can optionally erase memory before programming. When performing a read operation, the contents of the target will be shown in the memory window. The user ID is also displayed on the main window. You can also save the contents of a device that you have read to a hex file. By selecting configuration, the target device configuration bits will be displayed in an editable window. Changes in configuration values will be shown in red. If the target device is not self-powered, the target can be powered by the PicKit 3. Note that target power is automatically enabled during programming operations. That about sums it up. For more information, please visit microchip.com slash PicKit 3.